So you're the director of Real Housewives of Horror. Yes. Were you were you a avid Real Housewives fan before this? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I didn't really, I had to watch a lot of it for research, um, which was a painful endeavor. I'm not a big reality guy, unless it's Shark Tank, I love Shark Tank. Um, so, but the opportunity to parody it was, I really love parodies, I, I, I don't know, they, they seem like a fun like math problem almost, because it's sort of like, okay, how can I take this existing, it's not really a math problem, but how do I take this like existing material and like turn it into comedy? Um, I, I just enjoy the puzzle of it, uh, so it was fun, you know, diving into some Real Housewives episodes, getting deep, and then uh, kind of figuring out how we're going to translate that into horror and make that comedic, and here's my water delivery. <laughs> Ooh, and some spillage. Um, so, during your long, extensive research, did it become a guilty pleasure of yours? No. No, still no. Uh, nope. Um, there's too many good shows to watch in the world. I'm currently uh, ripping through Six Feet Under, which is, uh, thank you. My friend decided to put up a funny picture behind her head. Oh, the fun we have on the set of Real Housewives. This is actually a set that we shot on. Did you know that? I did not know that. The second episode and a little bit of the fourth episode is shot here at the Outs Club. Where we're all getting drunk. Yay! <laughs> but no, yeah, Real Housewives, not a guilty pleasure. And, uh, um, no, yeah, I'm, I was saying, I'm watching Six Feet Under right now. Uh, I'm catching up on West Wing. So I'm a little behind on, like, Life? Good, traditional <laughs> like narrative shows okay okay did were you a horror fan at least I'm scared of horror you're scared I've always I've always been scared poopless I don't know if I can swear so I said poopless of um, horror but I've, I've always been a big fan of horror comics so Army of Darkness is like a movie that's very close to my heart like okay. the, the whole Evil Dead series um I love genre blending in general. That's like again, it's like there's a puzzle aspect to it. So I really get excited about that. Like uh, the show that I did for Comedy Central was The Legend of Neil, and it's about a guy getting sucked into Zelda. And so that was like a comedy fantasy. So I love like being able to blend genres like that. So diving into the horror genre and being able to watch and watch some old like Child's Play movies and Friday the Thirteenth and stuff like that to like kind of get in the mood and the groove and realize that the stuff that scared me poop was the kid is not so scary. <laughs> when you watch it again, it's not that bad. So you're a genre bender. So who, what, what do you want to blend next? Oh man, great question. Well, I'm writing a cop comedy now uh, with my buddy Ed Brubaker and Mel Cowan. Um, and so that's we're working on that pilot, and uh, we sold it to a network. I don't know if I can say who it is yet because that's been announced, but um, we're very excited about that. So I guess awesome. Hopefully next up, if they pick it up and. Uh, so buddy comedy is your next. Uh... Yeah, like oh, I guess it's not really a big blend, but it's taking it is sort of taking like crime, the crime genre, and when you so that'll be fun. We're doing it in a different way. It's sort of more of a uh, true detective meets uh, Kirby enthusiasm. Nice. I love this blend. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks for having me. <laughs>